Let's try to understand this snowshoe hare and lynx case study. The relationship between the number of snowshoe hare and lynx is tightly linked. As the snowshoe hare make up over 95% of the diet of the lynx. The graph shows the cyclical nature of the relationship down here. Biologists have noted a recent decline in the number of snowshoe hare and lynx at the peak of their cycles. So look at the peak of the cycles here versus here. Both the hare and the lynx are going down together by a certain percentage, and that will go down again. That's the estimation. So using the information above, we're going to predict the peak populations in the next cycle, perhaps down here, down here, something like this. And we need to explain and justify our solution and also state our assumptions and show the calculations. So let's take a look at this marking guide. This is not the only answer. It's going to demonstrate a good understanding of the situation. So some things that we should talk about is to recognize the 10 year cycle for both hair and links. The actual period of time it takes to repeat from max to max is similar for both the hair and links. And we should mention that as we add that same period for the next cycle. We should recognize that there's approximately a two year lag time between the peaks of the hair and links, as we showed here. And yes, we understand the problem that the populations are decreasing. The peak here is going down as well as the percentage drop from here to here is going to be the same as from here to here. So it's important to actually have some numbers. And of course, the numbers might vary within a reasonable range. And it's good to use the language percent decrease rather than just by numbers. We should draw a clear graph and label it properly with all these axes and numbers, populations in thousands. And some good assumptions to state is that the predator prey relationship stays the same. We're assuming that the diet of the lynx is still 95% and they're tightly linked and that the cycle remains constant. So we discussed all the possible components of a correct solution. However, just out of curiosity's sake, it is possible as a caveat that the population might actually go up just due to external factors. But for the purposes of this numeracy assessment, let's keep it simple and clear.